The best example I've seen as to why the flat earth nonsense is so damaging to the moon hoax movement comes from an analogy given by Bart Sabrell. When I first started my investigation into the moon landing fraud around 1989, I saw many times how those opposed to this lie being exposed would put people who saw the truth of this government deception into the same category as those who long ago used to mistakenly believe that the earth was flat, thus attempting to divert attention from their crime of the moon landing fraud being exposed by childishly labeling those who reveal this treasonous action of theirs as just as crazy as those who believe that the earth is flat. Think about this. A person arrives at a party and says, let me tell you why the moon landings are false. Yet a moment later they add, oh yeah, and by the way, the earth is flat too. What would the people think of what the person just said about the moon landings being false, despite the fact that the moon landings were indeed falsified? They would say, I almost believe them about the moon landings until they said that the earth was flat. The only objects in space that are not spheres are broken fragments from objects that used to be spheres before explosive collisions. The flat earth distraction is most definitely an internet psychological operation designed for this very purpose, to distract and discredit the emerging truth of the deplorable government's moon landing deception, the exposed truth of which would bring about the government's very destruction. Nearly all flat earth web postings online are fictions created by the CIA in a desperate and juvenile attempt to distract and divide people from the ever-increasing facts coming to light of their long ago despicable deception of the moon landing fraud, demonstrated by their continual and dire attempts to tie the flat earthers and the moon landing frauders together, just as they unsuccessfully tried to do in the 1980s when these facts of the moon landing fraud first started to come out, and now again with the success of my film, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon, all done in a childish and desperate attempt to discredit and distract from the emerging truth of their despicable deception about the moon landings. The use of scriptures to support the notion of a flat earth is not possible. I have read the Bible from cover to cover more than once, and there is not a single literal reference to the world being flat. Just in case there is anyone out there who actually believes that the earth is flat because they now doubt everything that they previously believed because of being surrounded by so many lies every day, let me assure you the earth is a sphere. I have personally flown all over the world, east and west, with the window seat. I have looked out the window several times at the northern Arctic region over both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans which airlines fly over to save travel distance because the spherical shape of the Earth makes this region narrower, therefore a shorter distance. If the Earth were flat, this would cost more fuel, not less, which the airlines would never do. Nor would they be able to make such journeys non-stop with limited fuel capacity as they do. If you have ever personally sailed upon the ocean and approached land, such as a port city or island, when you first look through binoculars at the land in the far distance as you approach it, you initially only see the tops of the trees or the tops of the skyscrapers, and then gradually thereafter, as you come nearer, the lower part of both finally come into view. This is because the curvature of the earth hides the bottom parts of these objects from a distance. Any alleged pilot or sailor online who says otherwise is just that, an alleged online fictitious personality. If you met with and discussed this with any real sailors or real pilots in person, they would gladly confirm these simple facts. The simple fact is, if the earth were flat, lighthouses would be one story tall and at ground level, rather than extremely high structures further elevated by the hillside peaks on which they reside, for the very purpose of permitting ships beyond the curvature of the earth to better see them from a great distance away. I have never met anyone in person who was convinced that the earth was flat, yet I have been introduced to thousands of people who know that the moon landings were falsified, not because the earth is flat, simply because claiming that they went 1,000 times farther 50 years ago on the very first attempt with antiquated 1960s technology, 1,000 times farther than astronauts can travel today with five decades more advancements in rockets and computers, defies logic 
and the natural exponential progress of technology. Have people become so cynical that if the government or media says that the sky is blue, that we all call it green instead, just to contradict them? Remember, half of what the media and the government says is true. This is done so that distinguishing the lies becomes more difficult. This technique is from where the word wicked originates. A candle wick, upon very close examination, is made of two strands, not one, woven discreetly together. The wickedness is truth and lies mingled together in equal proportion to make discernment of the lies and the discernment of the truth much more challenging. If everything the government and the media said was a lie, that would be too easy to figure out. So exactly half of what they say is a lie and the other half is truth. This is done to confuse us and to laugh at us when we believe the lies and shun the truth, thinking that the truth is a lie when it is not, such as the spherical earth. Let us not become so cynical that we think that everything is a lie, like a spherical earth, and so also be deceived just as deceived believing in the moon landings. Yes, the moon landings were indeed falsified, not because the earth is flat, simply because the technology to do so the technology to protect astronauts from lethal space radiation and the technology to build a rocket large enough to carry the fuel necessary for this lengthy non-stop journey does not yet exist. Otherwise, there would be bases on the moon, right now, after the first attempt was so easily done 50 years ago with half a century older equipment. We live in a world with the internet, with millennia's worth of research, understanding and information literally at everybody's fingertips. We live in a modern era where we are no longer at the mercy of corrupt and directionless government agencies to get into space, where anyone can buy or even build their own rocket and spacecraft if they ponied up the cash. I choose to go to the moon! Yeah. We have the ability to see further into the universe and understand it better than Aristotle, Ptolemy, Copernicus, Bry, Kepler, Galileo, Newton, Einstein, and all the other great philosophers and astronomers could ever hope to. And yet, there are people who think the Earth is flat, that all space travel is impossible, and space itself is fake. I cannot believe it has come down to this. Such is life.